The question is that can we generate a control policy for an agent using just one demonstration of desired behavior as a prompt, as effortlessly as creating an image from a textual description? This is the question which this research is trying to answer. This research present make an agent, which is a new policy parameter generator that leverages the power of conditional diffusion models for behavior to policy generation. Guided by behavior embeddings that encode trajectory information, their policy generator synthesizes latent parameter representations, which can then be decoded into a policy network. The thing is that most of these research paper, they lean towards textual model, but this one is harnessing the power of generative AI when it comes to multimodal agentic software. Let me show you a few of the examples as how the agent making process actually is working. Look at this video and I'll try to explain what is happening here. Now, this is primarily is showing you the methodology where a contrastive behavior embedding to process trajectory data is happening and then an auto encoder to encode and decode policy network parameters. And then you can see there is a policy network generator using a conditional latent diffusion model as the backbone. Look at this video. Now, this is another way of where this robotic uh, thing is navigating to circumvent the goal and ball swiftly. And it is also avoiding stepping on a bouquet while moving in that direction across a mat. Similarly, this is another example of the same concept from a different angle. Now, another cool thing around this, and let me play this video too, where you can see that this is primarily a text to image stuff, which I just described where it is showing the test trajectories are from the same training buffer and evaluations are under environmental randomness. And this is all there is to it. Now, the thing is that policy learning traditionally involves using sample trajectories from, from a replay buffer or behavior demonstration to learn policies or trajectory models mapping from state S to action A, modeling a narrow behavior distribution. That is where this paper helps, where it considers a shift in the paradigm moving beyond training a policy. They try to answer the question that can we reversely predict optimal policy network parameters using suboptimal trajectories from offline data or not? Because this approach is going to obviate the need to explicitly model behavior distributions, allowing us to learn the underlying parameter distribution in the parameter space because that is still a very, very vague area. So make an agent is featuring three key technical contributions here. First and foremost, they propose an autoencoder that encodes policy network into compact latent representation based on their network layers, which can also effectively reconstruct the original policy from its latent representation. Secondly, they leverage contrastive learning to capture the mutual information between long-term trajectories and their successes or future states. And this approach produces a new and efficient behavior embedding. And thirdly, they utilize a simple yet effective diffusion model conditioned on the learned behavior embedding to generate policy parameter representation, which are then decoded into deployable policies using the pre-trained decoder. Make an agent has already shown a lot of promise because it is versatile as it excels in generating effective policies for a wide range of tasks by conditioning on agent behavior embedding. Also, it is quite generalized. Their diffusion-based generator demonstrate a robust generalization producing proficient policies even for unseen behaviors or unseen embodiments. Third and final, their method is quite robust as it can generate diverse policy parameters showing resilient performance under environmental randomness from simulators and real-world environments. So all in all, make an agent can synthesize high performing policies when fed with noisy trajectories that highlights the robustness of their model. So I will drop the link to their this GitHub repo in video description. You can read more and you can also check out their 
uh, project website very very interesting read i would highly suggest at least you try to read the abstract and few of the tidbits which are shown on their project website that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you